the 15th. Uh, Tuesday the 15th at the Southside Baptist Church. In the booth, they'll have little uh, sections there. It starts at 4 o'clock. You can go look and see what uh, maybe what missions is going on and, and stuff like that at 4 o'clock. But then they'll have a dinner at 5 o'clock. So last year, I think it was uh, chicken spaghetti. This year, I have no idea. But all I hear is food. So uh, if y'all can, it starts at 5 o'clock. And if you say, well, I can't, I get off at work at 5 and, you know, maybe 5.30 or something, that's fine. Because the, they have a worship service. Then the business session starts at 6.45. So you'll have plenty of time. Uh, but remember, if you want to, it's Tuesday, uh, this 15th, the 15th of October. So it starts at 4, 5, and 6.45. And also, um, if y'all can, I know the pantry is asking for this coming Saturday, correct, this coming Saturday, if you can, maybe uh, make little baggies of uh, candy or uh, like a little, uh, what else, I'm gonna, cookies or something like that. Uh, and uh, anything that, that they could sell for a dollar or so uh, because all the proceeds will go to the pantry and they have a water leak. Uh, so I think it's underneath the floor. So they're raising money for the pantry because <clears throat> y'all know when something like that happens, it's not cheap to fix. So, uh, and like I said, I think it also, uh, if you can't do that, if you wanted to donate to, I know they probably accept donations, you know, put a little envelope and uh, put food pantry and, you know, uh, a donation or something like that. So, uh, it, either way, but it's this Saturday as well, and I think they're having an October festival all uh, Saturday going on too. So y'all, y'all think of, of that. Anything it's called else? the Harvest Festival. A harvest? What did I say? October festival? Did I say that? So uh, I know this Saturday. So anything else can y'all think of that's going on? No. Well, before we get up and shake hands, uh, I can't remember. It's sad, I know. I can't remember if I said this one or not. But I'm not making fun of anybody, but uh, I thought it was quite uh, funny. It says three Southerners and three Yankees were traveling by train to a conference. At the station, the three Yankees each bought a train ticket and watch as three Southerners bought only one single ticket. How are three people going to travel only using one ticket? Asked the Yankee. Watch and see, answered one of the Southerners. They all got aboard the train. The Yankees uh, took their seats, but all three Southerners crammed into a restroom and closed the door behind them. Shortly after the train has departed, the conductor came around collecting tickets. He knocked on the restroom door and said, Ticket, please. The door opened just a crack and a single arm merged with a ticket in hand. The conductor takes it and moves on. The Yankee sees this and agrees it was quite a clever idea. So after the conference, the Yankee decided to copy the Southerners on the return trip and save some money being tight with money and all. When uh, they get to the station, they bought a single ticket for the return trip. To their amazement, the Southerners don't buy a ticket at all. How are you going to travel without a ticket? Asked one Yankee. Watch and see, answered the Southerners. When they board the train, the three uh, Yankees crammed into a restroom and the three settlers crammed into another one nearby. 
Then the train departed. Shortly after, one of the southerners leaves his restroom and walks over to the restroom where the Yankees are hiding. He knocks on the door and says, Ticket, please. <laughs> oh, and shake <laughs>
Twister song. Let me tell you, that song will do it. But one day we'll be dwelling far away. Noise of strife upon my ears is falling. And guess what? I'm living on a mountain underneath a cloudless sky. I'm drinking at the fountain and never shall run dry. Oh yes, I'm feasting on the manna from a bountiful supply, for I'm dwelling and beautiful land. Amen.
favorite, favorite. A mansion over the hilltop.
they going to throw a curve one on me. It's a different one than I do, too. Oh, okay. Here we go. We'll, we'll just take it, and I'll beat y'all that to you. Bless it. Oh, bless it, I'll tell you. Here we go. Introduction. We'll just go ahead and um, do my best. God for editing. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, maybe that's something. No, praise the Lord. Uh, well, in this one, uh, got me to think on the sermon here, I, and it starts at home. Uh, it starts at home, and it starts here as well, uh, in God's home, God's house. But I'll put some scriptures on the board there, but... Uh, <laughs> it's good to laugh. It is good to laugh. That's the Amen. best best medicine we can have. But uh, it got me to think this uh, this week, and I was watching something, and and uh, boy, it starts at home uh, with especially if you have little kids, and you say, "Well, I don't. I used to, but I, I don't." So where does that put me? And uh, this is right up your alley as well. Because even though you may be living by yourself, you're in a community. You're in a community. And then, uh, if you have your Bibles, uh, go to John chapter 14, and you're probably already there. But also, i got other scriptures as well. But uh, I've heard people say, uh, and I... <coughs> Uh, especially, I'll, I'll throw this example out that, uh, uh, well, my kids, they, they go to school so that they need to learn. So it is the teacher's duty to teach my mm -hmm. kids. Uh, nope, nope, it's not. It's yes, right. they need to get an education, but no, it's, it's not the teacher's duty. Uh, and guess what? I've heard people say, well, I can't handle my kids, so guess what? Uh, let me call all law enforcement to discipline my child. No, right. no, it's not. You say, well, where is, where is it going? It starts at home. Amen. It starts at home. And especially, uh, if you got your Bibles in John chapter 14, the home, you spend more time at home than you do anywhere else. And you say, yeah, that's true. Maybe on the weekends, if you count all the hours, how much time do you spend at work? Maybe 40 hours a week? Um, or school? Why did you have kids going? Maybe 40 hours there? But then guess what? You'll, you'll get that in two, two days, Saturday and Sunday. You spend more time at home. <clears throat> well, what do you also get? Many of times that uh, people get safety. They get safety at home. I've talked and I've seen uh, people when they move around, um, and I don't, like I said, I, especially I, I tip my hat, my hat uh, to the lawn, uh, excuse me, the uh, men and women that's in our service, they, they move everywhere. Mm -hmm. My sister, she uh, retired this year, and uh, she put her time in and she retired from the service, but her family moved, moved uh, from place to place. And I know it was hard. Uh, for my niece, especially moving different schools. Well, guess what? God has prepared us a home. A home, a place. And if you're there, John chapter 14, and we'll uh, do one through uh, five. Let not your heart be troubled. 
Ye believe in God, also believe in me. In my Father's house we are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. See, God has a place for us, but he's preparing a place for us. And that's why it's so important for our homes. Either we stand and, and, and we are so bold on God's word, that's where the little kids, child, they learn. It is up to the parent to raise. It's not up to the teachers to teach all the kids. It's not all the law enforcement to, to discipline your No, it is the children. It starts at home. Amen. And guess what? And you say, well, where does that put me if I live by myself? You are in a community. Mm -hmm. You are in a community where there's people with little kids, where they see you constantly. And yet, uh, home should be what the safest place. Have you ever heard? I've heard people say when someone breaks in and they 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 steal something, they take something, and they say, "I just feel violated. I feel hurt." Mm -hmm. You know that should be my place, uh, yeah. a safety. But yet they took it away. See, we were talking about that in, in Sunday school, where it says. In Colossians, we were in chapter, oh dear, I lost count, you guys. Three, there we go. And it talks about look on things above, not earthly things. Well, guess what? For our kids to know what's right and what's wrong, it's so important to show them, to be an example. It starts at home. Because we spend more time, hey, do we see each other praying together? Talking about Christ together? Reading scriptures together? Maybe even Bible study. Get a Bible study going. I know that uh, when I was going to PJC, boy, we had groups on Monday nights. I used to want to come and fellowship Tuesday. Wednesday was church. We had days that we would study. Get into the Word of God. Because let me tell you something. Y'all know it. When y'all go out in the world, it is hard, isn't it? Y'all see it now. Kind of worries me sometimes about Jennifer. But I said, mm -mm, God, you got that. I'm going to put my worries on you. I'm going to let you have it. But it starts at home. If you have your Bibles, to go to Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 3. And uh, while you're also there, you can also uh, get problems if you're not already uh, there. But people say, well, it's got to start somewhere. Yeah, it starts at home. And in Hebrews chapter 3, go to verse 4. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. It's God. And you say, what? That's why it's so important to have a house that if it's not built in on the foundation of Christ. Mm -hmm. my, I've talked to some people, they say, well, I've, I've had my kiddos and we, we pray together, but they, they left the path. It's okay. Continue to pray for them. Because guess what? They always come back. I remember them saying, oh, we're going to Grandma's house. We're going to Grandma's house. We, we leave, then we come back. Why? You just feel that loving spirit. The gathering together. Well, guess what? As a church family, that loving experience, coming together. Guess what? When you're here, 
I'm not going to pull out scripture somewhere else. It's going to be in the Word. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in the Word. Are we going to stand together and be bold for God's Word? It's got to start somewhere. Hey, it starts here. When you're in God's house, it comes out of God's Word. What about your homes? Because it's got to start somewhere. What about the kiddos? The community. People are watching constantly. And if you're already there in Proverbs, that's why it's so important to have Christ in. I said, and ladies, every wise woman builds her house, but the foolish pluck it out with her hands. Build up, encourage, see what's going on. That's why I'm always, hey, what's new? What's going on? What can I pray for? What's on your mind? See, God has given me two ears. Hey, I want you to listen more, Chew. Not talk more. I just gave you one mouth. I mean, times I thank God, I'm glad you only gave me one mouth. What would the world be like if I had two? Oh, my. But it's got to start somewhere. In God's house, it's God's scriptures. Mm -hmm. Maybe in your homes. Oh boy, I'm having a rainy day. It's a bad day. Yeah, but you're breathing, aren't you? I know I am pain, but yet I can I can feel. Just like I know I've told you this before. Uh, there was a a grandson was asking our grand his grandfather. Now, how are you doing, grandfather? I'm not so well. Well, what's going on? Well, I don't remember like I used to. He said, I, I ache in pain. More pain now than I, I used to when I was young. I don't have the strength uh, like I used to. Boy, I was, I could pick up anything and move mountains. But I just don't have that anymore. I used to run marathons, boy, but yet I'm a little slower now. But you know what? Praise God, I still have my driver's license. And yet, find something positive. Positive. You know, you may be aching, but you can feel. Hey, let's get together and let's talk. What's Christ doing? It's got to start somewhere. That's why I hear that. Oh, well, it's the teacher's fault, the teachers. No. Well, the discipline there. No, no, no. It starts at home. It starts here. That's why I say, God, we're not going to stray from your word. But then what if someone gets mad? And don't get mad at me. You and God talk about it. Because this is what he said. But you know what the world says, though? The world says, I don't care what the world says. This is, this is what God says. Because let me tell you something. You and I, one day, we will stand before God. It's just going to be me. I won't have backup. It will be me and the Lord. Guess what? It'd be you and the Lord. Now, I know I've said this many times because I've heard it many times. Truly, that's a fairy tale. It's a fairy tale, and then you're reading a fairy tale book. I said, let me tell you something. I'd rather believe it, because I do. Because if you don't believe it, you don't know it's real. You go a different direction. Those are harsh world, words, Chewy. That's God's words, not mine. Talk with Him. That's why it's so important for many families. Hey, make a commitment. I, I know you guys are. You said, Chewy, you're preaching to the choir. I know. Make a commitment. Hey, God, where are you going to lead me? Do I need to talk to somebody? 
hey, let's, let's skip out. We can skip out on this. It, it's all right. That's old-fashioned. Going to church anymore, it's old-fashioned. But you miss the symbol of a family. If y'all could stand up here and see people hugging necks, somebody on this side and on this side coming and hugging necks, shaking hands, picture worth what over a thousand words mm -hmm. it is this is God's home it's going to be God's word what about your homes even when you're living by yourself you got a community children still play because let me tell you something if we don't influence each other with God's word you think the world will? Mm -hmm. It's got to start at home. Let's pray. Right. Heavenly Father, can you tell us, Lord, that you have prepared a place for us?